everyone, this is Marcia Laka Tart, and today I'm making a video about the differences between promarkers and graphites. So I took seven, uh, six colors um, that were the most similar to each to each other. So two browns, one brown from the promarker, one brown from the graphite, etc. I'm really sorry, I completely forgot to take a picture of the drawings before I'm. I colored them, but you will see them later anyway, <laughs> so no worries. So these are all my graphics. These are my normal graphics. Um, I sorted them by colors, and here are my graphic brushes. So the one with brushes, that is the new collection. I also have a pencil case full of graphics because they couldn't fit in this, there were not enough rooms. And in this box, I have all the graphics that I have twice, um, because in case um, one of my graphics die, I have another one. Um, yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> And these are all my promarkers that my best friend gave me for my birthday, except one. I think this is this one that I bought another day. It was cheaper than than usually, so I bought it. <laughs> so before showing you the speed paints, I'm gonna tell you the differences between the two markers. So the two markers have two nips like every markers um, so they are one little nip and a larger one you can see the differences well uh, uh, thanks to the the plug um, so with the pro marker you have two different plugs one that is more pointy and the other that is Larger. The pointy one is for the little nip, and the larger plug is for the larger nip. You can see two drawings showing the differences, the different nips. Uh, so the little nip of the promarkers, I really like this one. It's it's not really hard. It's like soft, and it makes something like a brush, but not really. But I really like it. It's really cool but what I don't like with it is the plug I will tell you later why I don't like this plug uh, so this is how it does you see it's not really hard you can really see it on the camera but when you use it I said use this yes <laughs> but when you use it it's really soft it's really cool to use them and then the larger chip is like all the larger chip. <laughs> uh, it's a normal thing, really. It has a good amount of alcohol and the pigments. And you can get the, the sides. <laughs> so now with the graphics. Um, on this one, you can see the little nip thanks to the little thing that is grey that you can't really see uh, and the, the larger tip uh, stays black um, it, can, it can seem really hard to make the differences and always like opening the larger tip when you wanna open the little tip I'm always saying tip, I wanna say nip <laughs> anyway um, but with really a lot amount of time, your eyes will, without even comprehend it, you, you will take the little the little nip without even mm, searching the gray thing. So, uh, as I said earlier, I prefer the little nip of the promarker because the graphite is as a little nip really hard, but it it is cool too. So um, this is the difference between the two, but it's thinner than the Promarker one, and as you can see, the paper impregnates the the Promarker, so 
it's not really cool, it makes something really messy I, um, but the crap it is for less messy, it's cleaner so this is the larger tip with times it becomes it becomes more soft than at first so that is what I really like about it I can tell you that the promarkers do the same because I don't use them enough to to make them softer so maybe it stays hard maybe maybe it will become more soft I can really tell you I'm sorry <laughs> there is another difference between the two but first I'm showing you the differences between the large net they are really the same maybe the graphic looks larger than the promatcast one but mm, I don't think so I, I don't know <laughs> I think they are the same and now I'm showing you the differences with the little nip and you can probably see the difference that the graphic is really hard and the promacker seems really softer I'm trying to show you but I don't know if we can see it well <laughs> anyway time to close it so what I was telling you was that I really don't like the plug of the promacker because it has a little thing in it so every time I try to close it, it will stay stick in between the two and it will damage the little nip. So this thing is really bad. <laughs> there is another difference between the two. This is the form, the shape of the two markers. Um, the pro marker is more like... Uh, it's more circled. Um, and the graphite is more like a triangle so it's really better because it will not go everywhere when I put it down instead of the promarker that will roll all over my desk so now it's time for me to show you the speed paints I hope you'll enjoy it and I'm going to talk at the end of the two speed paints about the differences between the two and my preferences For the graphics, no surprises, I'm used to them, so um, usually I take, a lot, I take a lot of colors to make the fur, so because I don't have a lot of promarkers, I have to do it with only one, only one graphite, but I think it's not a big deal because I can show you then the, that you can do a lot of things with only one color um, with the graphite, that you can do the shading and the lightning. First time making a whole drawing with only mark uh, with only pro markers. Um, it really surprised me because I really thought it could be really cool because I really like the little nib. Um, but I didn't like the larger nib. I felt like I didn't have any control, even with the the thinnest the thinnest nib. And I was really disappointed with the th with the things that we couldn't really do a lot of things with only one colors. The lightning and shading couldn't, weren't really uh, showing. So this one is the graphic version. So I'm gonna start by saying what I think about the graphics, and then what I think about the promarkers. So you can see that the colors aren't really the same, but this is not because of the markers, but this is because I couldn't find the ex. The, the exact color so I took this the most similar I couldn't find yeah uh, exactly the same it was really impossible <laughs> and so for the graphics uh, really no surprises I really really love them I was just a bit disappointed with how it 
blended with the with the necklace. Uh, usually, I I can I can blend um, easily, but this time I couldn't. I don't really know why. Uh, as you can see, we really can do one thing, um, everything with only <laughs> with only one marker. Now uh, you see, I I take one marker. And I make three layers, as if I was doing a, uh, the same with, but with different colors. And I did my usual way to color, with first my shading, then my base color, and then um, the lightning. And it's really cool because um, one more layer will make the first layer darker. And you really see it at the end, even with the lighter color that I used for the air, the 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 pose, the the end of the tail. Um, so really happy with that. And now I'm gonna talk about so the pro markers. I'm gonna say other things at the end about the differences between the two. So I was really disappointed by the pro markers. Um, even though they are still uh, really good markers, I'm too used by, uh, of my graphics that I can't use them uh, for for a whole drawing. I can use them for a little drawing, but not that. So as you can see, even though I made my three yellow layers, the first layers aren't showing enough for me so if you want to do something good you have to to buy other colors so it's hard when you when you start when you're starting and as you can see the lighter color that I use for the air and the end of the tail isn't showing at all like there we can barely see the first layer so <laughs> the second layer disappeared completely and the first layer almost completely disappeared too but I was really happy with how it blended uh, pro markers are really good for blending I was also sad because I really thought uh, I really felt like I hadn't a lot of control over m the two nibs and uh, it like the paper impregnated the the alcohol and it go it, it went everywhere and it's it does really make a drawing messy and uh, I had a drawing that I have somewhere that when I color over my line it will take the line with it and color the part that, w that I were that I was coloring with black so I'm, I'm searching the drawing this is this one you can see um, here that the black went over on on the colors but it doesn't make make it with the graphics it's really only with my pro markers and uh, I was really sad because the drawing really looked messy and so yeah I was really disappointed with that Um, so yeah, I think that's all for that. Now I'm going to show the differences between the graphic and the pro marker. So the first thing I saw between the two is the difference of texture. Like for the pro marker, it seems, it seems really flat and the graphic is like something a little bit granulated. Um, that's something I really like because I don't like when it's flat. It reminds me of my horrible digital art that is really flat and um, my my graphics drawings have texture and that's what I like about. Um, so we can see so the differences between the coloring too, that the graphics is way better. We can see more of the other layers that I put and pro markers are really disappearing so I'm really sad about it it feels like I didn't put any lightning and, and shading at all so 
so I think I will stay with my graphics. But for the blending, I think the Pro Markers are the best. Even though I can blend with my graphics, um, Pro Markers are probably the best. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was talking with um, first from the video, but uh, it was really weird. Anyway, with the graphics, you can change the little nip, and you can also change the larger snip. So if you you, you can change the larger snip with a, a larger nip. Uh, another legend nip and a brush nip and you can even refill it it's like they become like cupcakes they they are they are refillable now but I, I think they don't have all the colors for the moment because it's really something new and um, you can change you can also change the big nip or of the the pro markers but i don't think you can you can put a brush nip and they are they are not refillable i think it's just to change the largest nip if it's broke but yeah they are not refillable and these are the graphic brush that i really like you can see um they have a a brush a brush nip that is really cool. I really like this one and you can change it. My fingers are all colored and I just discovered that you have another side of the of the brush and that is really really cool because I broke I think two of my nip and I was really sad because I I didn't want to change to buy new nips and so I'm happy now. And you have a little a really thin nip that looks like a line for line art but you can do really detailed things with that and I'm really happy to have it I use it a lot so another important thing is that the pro marker have 148 colors and they are 2.69 euro uh, the units and the graphics have 176 colors and they are 2.79 Euro the units, and um, I think personally that I will stay with my graphics and sometimes use my pro markers. But I think it's a question of taste. The people prefer pro markers, others prefer graphics. It's really a question of taste and things like that. What I wanted to say too is that I think graphics aren't enough known in the art world and they are really really good so like I'm going I think I'm gonna stay with graphics forever even though I tried cu one cupcakes before but yeah graphics are really really good <laughs> like if yeah <laughs> I just love 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 graphics I've never been disappointed with them so I hope you liked the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment. You can tell me what you want to see, um, what you want to see later <laughs> because I'm gonna make uh, other videos but I don't have a lot of ideas. <laughs> and just tell me what markers you use too. If you use graphics, promakers, copics, or other things. Thank you again for listening to me. I love you all. Bye bye. I love my I love graphics too. <laughs> if you didn't understand before. <laughs> bye.